Guys, welcome back to another video of Noor's 8-Legged Critters. And first of all, I just want to apologize that I have been missing uh, doing uploads, which I promise I will get back into. And thank you very much, Casey Tranchula, for giving me the shout-out and kicking me in the butt to get back to doing some uploads. Uh, I've been fairly a little bit busy on Thursdays, actually doing some streaming live, uh, working with the community, showing them some beautiful species and doing some feeding. Also, at the end of the stream, we do a little hat pick uh, uh, drawing where we can actually name some of our species, like my dune scorpion right here, which is named Curtis. Uh, so, on this video coming up, three weeks ago I went to the reptile show, I picked up four species, which was the rosea, uh, curly hair, king baboon, and this dune scorpion. And I did a, also on this video, I did a rehousing of a purple bloom live on stream in front of the community. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this video and see what you think. And again, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to start with the Pelanopus muticus. And hopefully I said that one right. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get him out of here. I'm going to see if I can try to stick the cardboard underneath if I can. Uh, these guys, he's still a sling, but you never want to get bitten by one of these guys. They hold quite a bit of, oh, Oh, he didn't eat the bug I put in earlier. Uh, you don't want to get bit by one of these guys because they do have a bit of potent bite. So, you know, this is really recommended for more of experienced biters. As you can see, he's already pissed off. Uh, these guys are from East Africa. They're slow growing. Uh, they're anywhere between rusty red to a brilliant brown. Now, what I'm going to try to do, and I don't know if I can or not, is I'm going to stick my pop bottle here and see if I can actually get him to go right there just a little bit okay there we go now what i'm going to try to do is try to slide this underneath these guys are extremely aggressive and they do hiss let's see if i can do this there we go and get him in there this is a temporary home for now kind of don't want him to go up so let's see if i can get him to go back down maybe he can go under this cave there go back down buddy actually let me use the other side Go back down, buddy. No, no. Back down. Back down. As you see, you can just take your time with these guys. Well, okay. Well, there he went. Okay, so there you go. That was the first one. And these guys, like I said, are extremely aggressive. They do hiss. Uh, rumors is they get anywhere between 7 inches seven inches to 9 inches. And they're about 75% to 80% humidity. As you can see, I started a bar right there. So hopefully he'll go down there through there. I got about maybe roughly about 2 to 3 inches of dirt in there now. And isn't it isn't he gorgeous? He's just absolutely beautiful. So I mean that went pretty well for the cup that he was in there. So guys, thank you very much. This is the Pel I said it earlier, the King Baboon. Okay, guys, for the next uh, video here, we're gonna do the Dune Scorpion, which hails from the desert of dunes of Arizona, Cali, and Nevada. These guys here are. They can get anywhere between three to five inches. Um, sand, okay, so what I read was, and again, guys, I am not that big onto doing scorpions. This is not my strong point whatsoever. And then as you can see, he's backing up on me. Uh, but what I can tell you, uh, well, <laughs> that's a sight to see, huh? All right, little Looks buddy. like a hamster. Yeah, let me get a piece of cardboard in behind him. Sorry, didn't mean to laugh. Um, oh, that's okay. That actually is pretty. Okay, right, I got you, buddy. I got you. The last Aww, thing I'm gonna do is get... I feel so bad. Oh, he's okay. I got him. I'm just trying to make sure I get his tail there. Yeah. There we go. So, um, you know, this is just a temporary home for him as of for now. It's not going to be. I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave that right in there since he's having a hard time. Mm -hmm. Now he doesn't want to go down. There you go. Okay. Ah, so sorry about that. Yes. Uh, the dune scorpions, are, as you can see, they're actually pretty quick um, species there. This is just a temporary home for now because I didn't know I was going to get one, but what I did was I created a cave right there. I'll probably put a little water in there until I go to the next show and get this little guy here a new enclosure. Okay. So uh, this guy here is a desert dune scorpion, which they are from Arizona, Cali, and Nevada, like I said before. Three to five inches, and if you don't make a hide for him as of right here is what I made, of course, you know. Um, wet the sand down and they will make their own hide. You know, they like to move stuff. My hesitary, he, has, <laughs> desert hairy moves everything. And room temperature is about the same size. If you just got regular room temperature, they'll do absolutely fine. I heard these guys are a bit aggressive and the sting is somewhat like a wasp sting. 
Not do I want to find out. I think they're actually gorgeous though. Big time eaters I've read also. Like I said, I'm not, this is not my strong point, but I love to own them. And what we're going to do is watch them grow as time goes. Now guys, uh, just last week I got a, a great gift from a person uh, down in Texas that sent me some really, really cool uh, spiny orb weavers that also I'm going to be putting up on this video. So guys, thanks again. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that subscribe, that's great. Also, would you hit that like button? Guys, have a great day. Guys, welcome to another video of Nora's Eight-Legged Critters. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of rehousing today. We are going to do my purple bloom right here. Uh, he's getting kind of big. As you can see, he's already angry. <laughs> he's jumping around. And he's getting a little too big for this enclosure, and we're going to switch him into this right here. I have a little bit of uh, vermiculite, a little bit of cocoa fiber, and a little bit of peat moss on top. A uh, water dish, a nice little plant, and a place for him to hide. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to do a rehouse on this guy right here, and hopefully it goes very well. Um, I forgot my box. Let me squeeze right next to the side of you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, today I'm live on stream. Uh, Venom Girl, which we wouldn't care to go ahead and show everybody what we're doing today. Just drop it right up there. Say hello to all of my streamers. Hello, uh, lovely everybody. people that kind of watch us. We do this every Thursday at 6.30. So make sure to check in if you can. All right, guys. So here we go. We are going to do a rehouse of the Purple Balloon. These guys are a little bit of hair kickers. As you can see, he is kind of moving away from me. And just kind of slow yourself. Nope, kicking hair. Said the spider is wicked. So that is one of the uh, moves that they do for a defensive uh, a defense. I don't think I'm going to need. He's going to kick hair on me and drive me nuts. All right, so I'm going to push this right over here to the next enclosure. So one of these, uh, one thing about these guys here is they're um, they're not very fast, but they can be fast. Um, their most defensive move is actually to kick hair at you and show you their butt, as you can see right there. So I'm going to slow him down in here. And this is one way to get him to slowly move in there into his new enclosure. I keep half of the substrate wet, the other side dry, and as you can see, go ahead and get close in there, girls. So that everybody can see. And that way, ladies and gentlemen, that is the purple bloom tarantula. Thank you very much for watching.